a provocative discussion of the Middle East. Well, not be featured. Instead, we'll be talking to a man who bought an ice cream cone. It's me. Of course, that has nothing to do with the fact that this station and the ice cream company are owned by the same corporation, but I digress. All right, let's just get through this. Uh, Mr. Simpson, tell us how it felt when you bought the fateful treat. I've never been to war, but I imagine it feels just like your first kill. The happiness whisked me away. Oh, that hurts like a silver serpent. What did I miss? Kent Brockman's had a horrible swear. That's right. Oh, uh, I'll just get it for you. That's that. That's that. See my broadcast tonight? Who got news? I get my news from the internet, like every other normal person under 70. Farewell, gangster. No one saw my show. So, no one heard my silky faux pas. My career is safe. Well, the important thing is we got through this crisis together. They make this friends, right? Uh, uh, hey, look, it's the airport bus. You should get on it. Okay. <laughs> America West, please. I can't believe Kent Buckman got away with it. Back in my day, TV stars couldn't say booby, tushy, burp, fanny burp, water closet, underpants, jingle dangle, Boston marriage, LBJ, titty caca, hot dog, or front lump. I'm not sure Brockman's out of the woods yet. There are a lot of religious watchdog groups out there keeping the world safe from the horror of free expression. You mean there are losers who spend all day watching TV looking for stuff to complain about? They'd be lame enough to do that. Okay. Small deal. Super dog licks himself. That definitely goes in the naughty pile. favorite word. I 